Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. There's a recipe there for apple charlotte, that's what it is. It is a very, very lovely apple pudding. Gorgeous, sumptuous, caramelised apple on the inside with some toasty bread on the outside and I'm going to show you how to make it now. As you can see by the limited number of ingredients on the board there, this is a simple pudding to make. First things first, you've got to, whatever mould you're using, you could use individual ones like I am doing, these are Daria moulds, or you could use a larger one. And I want to have that chilled first. So those Daria moulds have been in the fridge, while I, and then I butter them, and the butter will stick to them much more quickly, won't drip down the sides, and it'll be more evenly coated. Now, line that with sugar. So just tip in a bit of caster sugar, roll it around, tip it into the next area mold, and then eventually finish them all and put it back in the uh, pot where it came from. The butter and the sugar I've used here for lining was not in the original recipe, so that's extra, okay? Pop those back in the fridge. Now we're gonna peel apples. First of all, bit of lemon juice in the cold water. That will help the apples to remain, retain their color and not go brown and horrible um, and you can see there I've got mostly Granny Smith's but that one there is I believe that's a jazz apple the Granny Smith's a lovely tart firm really good cooking apple hold its shape these are gonna go mushy so I'm gonna have a contrast there and revenge of the apple it squirted its juice in my eye how rude that is an apple corer and uh, that's me peeling an apple stay tuned next week I'm gonna teach your grandmother how to suck eggs well, there you go, that is a peeled apple. Now you're asking, Matt, Uncle Matt, I haven't got an apple corer. Okay, so this is what you do. You peel your apple. Then you cut him into quarters. Like so. And then you just flip that on the side. There's the bit of core in the middle. Just sort of snip that bit off. In fact, you probably get less wastage doing it that way than you do with an apple corer. Now, what size to go to? We're going to cook these down... I cut them into quarters and then I'm thinking, okay, let's cut each one of those quarters in half. That'll be a nice size. So some of them, as I said earlier, will break down while others retain their shape and will have that contrast. So they're all done. Obviously you're gonna drain those later. Make sure you get rid of the pips. But a little plate on top there to keep them submerged. Keep them under the water. Whilst we make the caramel. So a very, very clean saucepan. Get it nice and hot first. So there you go, medium high heat editing that a little bit so about about this apple charlotte so charlotte really refers to a pudding with bread so apples going in um, with usually a fruit center it could possibly go back to a, a dish called charlotte which goes way 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 back I think sort of 13th 14th century that was an English dish and it meant a dish of custard that going in there was apricot jam or it could date back to the mid 16th century to be named after Queen Charlotte, who was the wife of George III. I believe he's the one that went absolutely start raving mental and started talking to trees and stuff. Or possibly it could be the sister-in-law of Alexander I from Prussia. There we go. Don't know any more than that. That's all I've got from Wikipedia. So cooking those apples down, obviously you've got to get the heat down lower now and let them stew for a bit. If they feel like they're not cooking and it's getting dry, add a drop of water. That'll be fine. But that's the point when I took them off. So for my Dario moulds, I want to have a little disc in the top and the bottom. I've selected some rings that I have, some cutters that are the right size. And also they'll both fit. I'll be able to get both from one slice of bread. So I've got some melted butter by the side there in a pan. And I'm going to dip the pieces of bread into the butter. Now the first one I did, I got right. Because I only really... Got a, gave a light buttering to the piece of bread and the butter side should go to the outside always of the mold in this case the dairy mold 
What I do for the rest of it is I go a bit too far with the butter. I really dunk and submerge. And the end results, I'm going to be honest, were even though absolutely delicious, were perhaps a little bit too rich, a little bit too buttery, even for me, which really is saying something because I absolutely love butter. So there we go, stacking up my discs that go on the top whilst dunking the bottom pieces, the smaller pieces, in the butter. And then we've got to do the sides. So first of all, let's remove the crusts. Okay, crust removed. And then I've got to sort of try to work out here, what size do I want? Measuring up and inside that doesn't work. Put it on the outside, yeah, okay, so I've got an idea, let's cut it sort of lengthways down the middle. And then to make it a bit easier to get it in, I think, yeah, let's cut that into quarters. And I'm thinking in my head, I think four pieces would be right because obviously we've got 12 slices of bread, six left over for the sides. So one slice per dairy mold. There you go, math surprise for me. And this is where I start going a bit wrong. I left this in here because, well, you know, it doesn't hurt to show what happens when you go wrong. I'm going the wrong way around, they're too tall. And then I'm going on the, on the sides and really making a total pig's ear of this. Um, and it's quite hard to work out exactly what I look like. So I think I'm going to need Randy Quaid to help me. I'm looking like a monkey football. Harsh but fair, Randy. But I think I needed that little pep talk. Thank you. Okay, so you can see I've got one done. We've got there in the end. What I worked out in my case was three and a half quarters was just about right slight overlap push down to the bottom you want them to be to the top of the mold or ever so slightly proud and that's all six of those done time to fill up with apples now so I want to evenly distribute them but you really want it to be full of apples this is an apple dessert after all it's not a bread dessert halfway through I'm thinking oh no. have I made enough apple and at the end I'm relieved I got like exactly the right amount of apple. So if you want to avoid that little bit of stress, perhaps just bung in an extra apple onto the recipe. That'll be covered, I'm sure. And then the butter tops on. So you want the buttery side to the outside. Obviously we've already covered this. I've gone a bit too mad with the butter. And then I want to press them down. I want to get them nice and set in the fridge. So what I do there, I think I put a bit of baking parchment on top and a tray on top of that and give that a good press. Really firm those up. Now I made these uh, on a Saturday, it was for Sunday, for the old in-laws coming over and I wanted to make one now for this video. So there we go, there's one going in and that's it coming out 20 minutes later, nice and toasty brown. Get it out straight away while it's hot, it'll come out more easily. A bit tricky, you've got to sort of get your cloth there and there we go, voila, one apple Charlotte, a beautiful beautiful pudding that I used to think was French and now I think because of that little bit of research I did I think it might be English and uh, let's just try dive into it and completely ruin it custard would be very nice with this but I was gonna say this is a very sweet recipe so with the extra sugar on the outside so I've just gone for cream and uh, no apologies for this that is quite enough of that I think Anyway, I'm going to tuck into this. It is absolutely as gorgeous as you imagine it would be. Why wouldn't it be? It's got caramel, it's got soft apples, it's got crunchy, buttery bread and some cream. It's bound to be lovely. Anyway, thank you for watching Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. I hope you love this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video, hopefully coming very, very soon. Goodbye.